Hello my friends and welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play City Skylines. Yes, I have been having so much fun with this that I am just going to keep on making these. Oh yes. Alright, and on the last episode we made almost complete progress with our rail line. In this episode I seek to complete that rail line. So we are going to happily bridge over here before coming back down in a gradual way. Yeah, if, if you bring this down to the minimum setting you have pretty great control over this. In fact why not let's do it here. Look at that. It's pretty good, isn't it? Alright. So we'll keep this going straight up until here. And then we can do this. And happily connect it like that to here. And here, I think I might have been at some point building up some sort of um, lumpy thing to go over. But you know what? Damn it. That thing I tried last time where I made this low, I can't believe it won't work. We're going to try harder. <laughs> We're going to make it work. Yeah, you're going way down there. Way down there. And then back up. You're going to have a little lumpy bump. In fact, that might be a little bit low, but you know what? Screw it. It's going to it's going to stand. Do do do. There we go dips right under and then comes up. Let's experiment just a little bit because it is a little bit steep. Hmm. Oh damn you. Uh, so angry. You might not think it's a big deal but it's a big deal. Really? Yeah, it's it's one of those things where the game is trying to be helpful for sure. But it's hard to see that help. <laughs> oh my god. The thing is cars will actually do go on that too, and they will phase right through everything. No, oh, see? Do you see? I probably should have quit while I was ahead. Oh. Now we're going to get really snug now. You guys are going to get it. Oh, stop correcting. What do I have to do? Yeah, every click brings it higher. <laughs> uh. Okay. Well, we can, we're going to do one thing. We're going to make it even deeper. Whoa, what am I doing? That's not what I want to do. They're going to... Height too high. Okay, we've, we possibly have overdone it now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, such frustration that we have. Okay. 
Yes, this is really happening, by the way. You haven't died and gone to hell. I'm actually doing this. Okay, fine. I I surrender. I surrender. You win, game. You win. You've got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them, right? Oh, but that's terrible. Screw it. You know what? This will not go through at all. You want to you want to screw with me? I'll screw with you. Oh, let's get rid of this though. All right. We're just going to sandblast the evidence that we ever did any of that from history. And if you want to cross, you jerk of a road, you're just going to do it like that. And nobody nobody mentioned it in the comments. All right. Mentioning it gets you an insta ban. Okay, I'm just kidding about that. But damn, was that annoying. But anyway, this means we get to activate our new line. So let's begin building our, our line here. And by the way, you will notice that I did some more off-screen work with trees in the um, what is soon to become the downtown area. So hopefully you will be enjoying that. Okay. And we are going to make this blood red. And we are going to call this the Ozzy Osborne line. There we go. Yes, we are going to do that, and you are going to like it. Everybody is going to like it. And you know what we're going to do? We didn't do this in the last episode, but we're going to do it in this one. We are going to watch a train. Of course, it's going to be not as impressive as it will eventually be once the things are fully uh, done. Of course, there's no power in some of these. But um, that will be fixed soon all right well we are going to wait for this train to fully come in and by the way people are using this highway to get over here all right but here we go click and we are going to ride from the top it always likes to wait until i'm riding something to <laughs> give me that But this is the um, tracks from the western suburbs heading into the main downtown, coming up to our next station. And the good thing is the station where these two lines meet is powered and is watered, which means that people will be able to transfer between the two lines already and that's very important so we are loading up our no passengers and heading on once again into a big cut zips along here and into our newer hub which as of yet has not been uh, hooked up to the city services in any way but that is all right. And as you can see, I did a similar thing that I did in the uh, last hub. And we now have a three layer thing with a rail, a road, and a rail. And this one is the lower rail on both instances. And man, for whatever reason, it takes a long time to load zero passengers, doesn't it? But we zip right along and yeah, these two hubs are close together. Well, it's kind of like in Philly, when you take the um, regional rail to get to the city, there are three big train stations in the city that are, well, relatively close together, like maybe a mile apart. You know, you have 30th Street Station, Suburban Station, 
and you have what used to be called Market East Station, which is now Jefferson Station. And those three are really close together. And that's kind of what we're doing here. We're having three different stations where commuters can get off in the heart of the city, depending on where exactly they're going. And yes, now both spans of bridge will be used. So it's pretty neat. Oh, look, we're already picking up passengers. So as you can see, our rail line is actually finding its use. It's pretty rad. Well, now that we're nearly done with watching this line go, I can talk about what's next. And what's next is rail towns. Oh yes, we're gonna be hooking up these other things to services. We're gonna be adding some villages along these towns. And then we are going to um, think about building a third rail line. And once we do that, then and only then can we start thinking about our new Prospect Burg, the, the center of Trinity, the beating heart where all the fun happens. Oh yes, it's gonna be great. So we are crossing over. We're gonna be crossing the river anytime now. And to our final station. Yep, there it is. And anyone driving on that road there can kiss my ass because I tried to make it not look really stupid, but it insisted on looking really stupid. And if you want to look that, if you want to look stupid that much, I'm not going to be the one to stand in between you and your goals. So what we're going to do, hmm, having thoughts. Thoughts are dangerous things, but they might also be good things. So yeah, make sure you have your water and make sure we build power lines. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually making one of these an old town district. Yeah, think about that. The way you do that is you come into here. I mean, you don't need to do these, but you can. These um, roads that people can't walk on, or that they can, I mean, sorry, they can walk on, they just can't drive on. We have a lot of different options here. And cars will sometimes still use these. It's However they implemented them, was not optimal. <laughs> some, there, there was some sort of programming glitch. So cars other than emergency vehicles will sometimes still go on these. But we are going to make an entire little town here where at least in theory you cannot drive. At least within this 4x4 grid. So, like everything else, this can be named too. I swear, we're going to have an episode that is going to be nothing but naming stuff. You guys have been so patient with your names. So, it will happen at some point. And yeah, we might as well just take an entire episode and just go and use all of your names. Well, when I say all, I mean most, probably. I'm sure there'll be some in there that I won't use. But there we go. We're going to put a police, fire, little medical center. Oh, by the way, what is this? 
all those would ravel. So we could do something like this, but would you rather walk on gravel or would you rather walk on actual road? And also we can make this, uh, wait, what's the difference? What's the damn difference? Pedestrian tiny road, paved road. Is smaller? They look the same. I wonder if that was another snafu in the um, Department of Programming. So yeah, you have these things preventing people going here. So now we are going to come along and we are going to transform this into a thing. And this one little spot, which is too small to really be useful, we are going to put it full of... What are we going to put it full of? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about all these trees over here. Whoa, see that little jiggy up there for construction costs? Ah, I'm sure that's a bug too, but... We're going to create ourselves a little... A little um, park of sorts. There we go. Yeah, I completely forgot that we can scroll right and get many more trees. So we'll have to use some of them. Giant redwood. Oh, man. Also, sometimes... Sometimes WASD completely reverses itself. And I don't know why. But yeah, look at that. We can have a wall of redwoods here. And since we can, why not let's have it right here, if nowhere else. It'll give the impression of being in a gigantic room. <laughs> and wouldn't that be fun? Yep, well these are these trains aren't exactly blood red, but they are red. They're bright red. In real life I greatly doubt redwoods would grow this close together. But if we spam them like this, we just have a curtain. A thick, thick curtain. I mean look at that. Look at how nice that is. It's not quite symmetrical though, and that does bother me a little bit. And this is turning out to be a somewhat used road, so let's go ahead and for this road and this road only, most likely, we are going to upgrade it. Okay, keyboard's being a jerk again, but that's all right. We can mitigate that. Whoa, keyboard woke up. And now WASD is reversed once again. Man, you gotta love this weird stuff. But we're not going to actually put the street itself as part of the old town because that prevents trucks from driving on it, or at least in theory it should. In reality, not so much. But yeah, this default name, like anything else, can be changed. We can even make it specialized. We can make it a nightlife. I kind of like that, a little nightlife here, like a little hipster town, kind of like New Hope, New Hope, Pennsylvania, or somewhere like that. So yeah, we're going to have a nice little nightlife area surrounded by small little houses. Oh, and I probably should be pressing the... Um, uh, the Old Town button. And what's that? Nope, laser, laser won't close on the other night. We'll encourage biking too. How can you have a hipster town without a lot of biking? And ban heavy traffic. Yep, everyone's gotta go back. Gotta go back. 
and small business enthusiast. And we're going to have tax relief for low density residential and commercial. It's essentially, we're creating like a special zone right here. And also, I think we might, what's this, a bouncy castle park? I don't know about that. What are these things? I swear they're adding new things when I'm not looking. But yeah, let's throw this in here. Bink. My goodness, would you look at that? They are not waiting. They are already making commercial. But yeah, this is going to be our nightlife over here. Man, when WASD reverses itself, that can be a little bit annoying. And I actually think we can make a good case for possibly including this area as part of it too, although it won't be, strictly speaking, walking only. Hmm. Let's see here. Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba. Although we will have walking only on these hills. Very happily, a little hipster neighborhood up here in the hills. With only a small number of roads that can actually be driven on. Oh, come on. Hmm. And yes, any heavy traffic does have to find a way around. So, we're going to add our nightlife along here. We'll have some more up here. And then everything else will just be residential. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, little hipster town. We're just going to temporarily call this Hipsterville. <laughs> and if you can think of a better name, we might use it. But yeah, people are already coming to Hipsterville. And why not plant flowering trees along the road for some shade? Yeah, you can take the rails straight here from the um, bustling center once it's built on the Ozzy Osbourne line. And you can come here, walk around, have some hipster pizza, which is very expensive. And then you can take the train home or anywhere else that you want to go. It's quite nice, and I'm glad we did this. Oh my goodness, we're running out of time already. <laughs> well, uh, it's not a surprise. I like I take a long time when I do these things. But we are going to add a little bit more to the street pattern over here. And this rail intersection, or this rail crossing, gives me problems, I swear to God. Somebody's losing a... I don't know, we're mafia style. Someone's losing a finger over it, if it happens. Okay. Yes, we are going to do this. And, hmm, I didn't think about this when I was doing my constructing. But if we need to make this higher, I think we will connect these and just worry about the consequences as they um, arise.
but there we go and it actually works out a-ok -okay right here yeah the um the trains over here are even closer together than the trains on the two hubs over there and we can make this a little curvy because I imagine that trains going through here are going to be moving slowly anyway be between the two stations hmm okay well we're gonna fill some of this with zoning but not all of it because I want to have a lot of this be free for placing trees oh yes we are going full hipster here and what kind of trees we're gonna place today hmm let's place these up here it's a nice little thing for passengers to see as they are moving between one hub and the other don't you agree in fact why not let's add some of these too it almost looks like it's a fantasy landscape of some sort but nope it is just our rail line and in the spirit of expanding we are going to add some more streets over here We'll be, I guess we'll be adding the rail towns on the, on the other side on the next episode because we're already at the end of a, we're at the end of regulation as they say in the sports world. Okay, there we go. And that intersection is going to suck, possibly. But there we go. We are also gonna preserve the historic farmhouse gotta do that gotta have our farmhouse preservation yes it will look increasingly out of place but in a very charming way uh, oh that was disgusting I apologize for that Okay. And now, hmm. Well, here's how we're going to do this this road will curve around and under, and there we go. It's a good look. Hmm, and we're just going to split this in half. And now we're going to add some commercial under here. And we might as well do some upgrading while we're here. Yeah, this whole thing should be probably upgraded all the way down. All the way down to the turnpike exit because this is quite a well-used stretch of road here oh we got a problem here though we might have to do a little bit of a jiggle there we go jiggle complete that's going to help things along for sure and this one maybe too but we'll do that later but yeah we are going to slap down some here and what kind of tree is this? It's pretty generic. Let's uh, go back to those redwoods. Man, these trees put the whole area in the shade. You know, look at that. So now we have a redwood station.
Isn't that nice? And also this will keep things cool as well as serve to slow down the breeze a little bit. I feel we can slide up park here. Yep. Well, and we can slide in some commercial. But that is all that we're going to have time for today. So I want to thank you fine people for watching this episode. And I will be seeing you all again very soon for some more awesomeness. So see you guys later.